mortality? We've, there's been one mortality yeah. so far. Is that what you would have expected? It's consistent with the results that we had from last year, Jennifer. Last year, if you recall, we, we lost two out of 173. Two out of? 173. So yeah. this, at this point, we have lost one out of approximately 150. What's the water temperature today, Frank? You know? I don't know. I have 18.5. 18, 18 yeah. And then and we're, we have a temperature logger in this stem here as well as the main stem, so they're tracking very well. So that's something that's very important as well is that you're trying to mimic the uh, environment where the fish are being caught with respect to the environment where the fish are actually panning. So in terms of uh, dissolved oxygen, temperature regimes and flow, um, they're very similar. Clearly the flow out here is greater, but there's obviously sufficient flow here with respect to a healthy environment for fish. How warm did the temperature get this year? Jim 20, was up to 20? 22. Yeah. At the, that was at the start. Yeah. So, so what the forecast is now with some warm. Do you think it'll change now? I mean, the days are shorter they're, and they're cooler shorter, at night. The nights are cooler. Yeah. I think it's, I think... Uh, the worst think, is over? I think the worst is over, Chris. So yeah. hopefully, um, hopefully that we'll see that actually come to fruition. When are they going to do the beach scene up there? Uh, uh, well, we're gonna. We've already done five today. Okay. There'll be one more. Today. You don't know when they're going to do it. Uh, we'll do it shortly. Because so. we uh, we have to leave in 20 minutes. Well, we can probably get that in. Okay. So. I don't know if you can coordinate that. Uh, 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 Colleen is shooting video as well as me. She's but, finished uh, the video now. She's going oh, to she's, stills. Yeah. I mean, if okay. you'd have been on the last one, you'd have seen some pretty significant fish because we had two sturgeon, pink. Pinks. Oh, Four lots of pink. Sockeye. Four large Chinook salmon. Four large Chinook. We had several, three or four jacks. Yeah. You, you, I've got my bar rod here, and I wanted to go bar fishing, so that's why I'm trying to hustle these people along. <laughs> Nick has got two already today, Chinooks. Oh, there you go. I appreciate this. So the other, the other thing that that is different, and this is significant, I think, is the fact that we are radio tagging yep. fish this year, both that are um, recreational caught immediately upon. So we're not even penning those fish, Jennifer. So they are automatically going back into the river and they face a challenge, of course, of swift water, uh, as well as, of course, just how unpleasant it can be with having a radio transmitter uh, sticking out of your stomach. Um, but we're also tagging fish that have, been, that have survived the 24-hour pen challenge and they're being tagged. And then we're also radio tagging um, fish directly out of the beach scene. So there'll be a total of between 75 and 100 radio tags distributed through the study. So the idea is to tag basically for the three weeks of the study, approximately 25 for each of the weeks. And, and that's, that, 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 that's distributed between basically those three elements. Direct release from recreational fishermen, um, release from recreational caught fish that survived the 24-hour challenge, and then um, the other third from beach sane fish. Got it. So the, other, the only other thing that I was curious about this year is it, when we start to see large numbers of pink salmon, which is different from last year, which, but we will encounter that this year, what effect does that have at all on catchability of, uh, of sockeye from a, a flossing or bottom bouncing technique? Do pinks have some influence? Do they get snagged more easily? Uh, do they influence catch rates on sockeye? Um, these are answers that we will not know until the end of the study, but it is certainly a, a, one of the questions that I'll be looking to answer from this year's study. You know, I, I think one thing, Chris, that, that I think will be important is, is just the aspect of is there a cutoff with respect to temperature in the river that we should not be fishing? So I, maybe over time, if we get to 21 and a half or 22 degrees, uh, if we see that there's a correlation with temperature and mortalities, that maybe that's an easy barometer that everyone would agree to, that uh, if it's that temperature, no one's in the water fishing from a recreational perspective. Because catch and release fish probably do not do very well in that environment. 
There's such controversy, of course, over regulations and whatnot and the politics of the fishery, but maybe that's, a, that's almost like it's, a, it's like an, an environmental um, flag that we can put up and uh, direct ourselves toward. So hopefully that'll be something as well. This year's study will, a couple of last year, will hopefully maybe answer that question. Other than that, we've just, we, the key is we've tried to mimic as much of last year to this year to make sure that the, the results are as comparative as, as possible. Understanding the caveats of different environment, pink salmon. Um, temperature, temperature. Temperature, yes. You didn't have the warm temperature last year? No, did we you? didn't, no. no. Uh, and what will the radio tagging teach us that last year's, without having it, didn't? What will the long, the, more the, of a the long the most term support, Well, actually, what did it, what is, it's representing a couple things. Yep. It's, it's putting fish immediately into a, um, a swift water environment, there's been some comment that uh, we baby fish by putting them into a net pen. In actual fact, with the radio tag fish, you're immediately putting them into a, an environment they have to robustly swim. Um, so that's one. So that we have a swift water challenge that the radio tag offers us that the net pen environment doesn't. And that's when and they robustly swim when what's happening? When well, they're, they, they're, they're released they're, directly. Yeah. The moment they're caught, um, we, we, you saw how the fish are netted and then they're put in the bag. Yep. At that moment in time, instead of us bringing the bag here, they're a radio transmitter is put into the stomach yep. and released. And they're doing right that there. now. Excuse me for interrupting. Aren't they radio tagging they this one? Right there. Okay. So let's go and see. How are we doing for time, Olivia? Um, Seventeen minutes. <laughs> we so much wanted to get here. Though, this no, no, that's, that's good. You picked a great day for it. I just happened to drop.